the University of the Pacific, Thomas J. Long School of Pharmacy and Health Sciences fosters a culture of leadership. One of the ways this is demonstrated is the high number of Pacific alumni involved in state and national pharmacy associations. Showing the next generation what it takes by deed, as well as taking them under their wings, showing them how to participate in activities within those associations, leads now to a tradition of leadership within our school. One of the biggest things that uh, UOP teaches you about leadership is that uh, to be like an effective leader you need to be constantly learning because you know pharmacy is a profession that's always changing and you know, we want it to change which it's a good thing. It's also about developing your skills and helping your profession grow and taking the possibilities of where pharmacy can lead us to and hopefully um, advocate for our profession. All of our faculty get involved with our students and the organizations that they advise and there are rewards to this. Uh, the mentorship leads to many, many dynamic student leaders that we have developed over the years. The reason that I chose the University of the Pacific was because of all the endless opportunities that I saw while I was here interviewing. Um, when I spoke to some of the professors, they were telling me about all the different organizations, committees. We really take time to know our students and I think one of the things that's special about us is that we take the time to find the unique uh, qualities in every student. So some people emerge very quickly as leaders. Other people need to be developed. And sometimes a faculty member or you know, another student might see something in you that you didn't see in yourself. So we really do have an opportunity to, I think, you know, ex have, help students express their uniqueness and find places where they can be a leader, where it fits them, not so much them going into a mold, but allowing them to kind of, um, I guess, decide for themselves how they want to lead. At the University of Pacific, we're really lucky because we have a lot of leadership committees and um, one of them is the International Pharmaceutical Leadership Federation and as co-chairs we it's been such a fortunate experience because we started out really small but with the help of faculty and staff we've been really able to expand and initiate a lot of projects for our school and we've really grown in the past year. Pacific also leads by reaching out to the community to provide important health services. Our students and faculty today do healthcare clinics spanning areas such as diabetes, asthma care, osteoporosis care, doing immunizations, helping the elderly select proper um, the Medicare Part D program, their, the proper insurance companies that they might use. Our faculty and students for free have touched thousands of underserved patients here in the San Joaquin County and surrounding counties. You will have colleagues and coworkers looking up to you for advice, and more importantly, you're gonna have uh, patients go to you for advice and asking you to help them solve their, their healthcare problems. And so I feel like being a student leader really helps you develop those skills. They allow everybody the opportunity to become a leader, and if you, if you are unsure about it, they make you feel so comfortable that um, becoming a leader here on campus is really uh, an enjoyable thing to be a part of.